Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just received from AliExpress this 8x8 LED matrix. It was a good value for money. One cost below $4. I have been planning to do a video about this for a while, so let's get straight to it. Each LED here is individually addressable. Connecting such matrix to Arduino is very easy. It has only three input pins. Data pin that goes to selected data pin of Arduino. Five volts and ground pins that are connected to external power supply. We have three output pins that you can use to connect other LED matrices and control them with a single Arduino data pin. To start working with matrix, we need to solder those three input pins. For now, I will be using this matrix as standalone, so I will not solder output pins. Let's connect all the cables. For start, we have breadboard power supply. Then we plug in the matrix. Connecting matrix input pin with a digital pin on the Arduino. Connecting matrix to power supply. Making sure that the grounds of the power supply and Arduino are connected, as Arduino will be powered from a USB port connected to my PC. Before we start, we need to do one last thing. To control the matrix from Arduino code, we need to install the FastLED library. As all other libraries, you can get this library from GitHub. In GitHub, we download the uh, zip file and we can install that zip file in Arduino IDE. When the library is installed, you can search for sample sketches. You will find out that there are a number of sketches provided with FastLED library. Let's choose color palette one. To be able to run this, you need to alter the code to indicate how many LEDs are in our matrix. So in our case it's 8x8, eight eight, so it's 64. And also you need to specify which data pin of Arduino are we using to connect the matrix. Let's compile the sketch and send it to Arduino. LEDs are so bright that I had difficulties to film close shots with my iPhone. The final effect would be so much better if I had a front panel for this matrix. Let's quickly design one in Tinkercad. The design is ready, so now we can export it, open it in Cura, slice it and send it to the printer.
the printout looks ok. So now let's try to put it in front of the matrix. This is much better now. Having this panel makes all the difference. Watching this demo is a bit addictive. There are other demos as well, some cooler than the others. As always, I'll try to write a simple code myself. I have stripped one of the demo sketches to a bare minimum. At the beginning of the code, you can see that there is a reference to the fast LED library. Then we have to specify how many LEDs we have and specify the Arduino data pin we are connected to. Then we declare the table corresponding to 64 LEDs of type CRGB. And finally we declare the matrix and set the LED brightness and we are ready to start. In loop function we have a single command fastLED show which displays the current state of all the LEDs. So each time we want to change the state of LEDs, it can be one or multiple LEDs, we change it in the table and when we are ready we run fastLED show function to display change state of all 64 LEDs. To start let's lit a single LED green. It was that simple. Now for something more complicated. Let's lit all the LEDs one by one but with slightly different color. We introduce variable J which initially equals zero. We have a for loop litting one LED at the time and using the J variable to slightly alter RGB color coding. Again we are using uh, the fast LED show function that is displaying current state of LEDs. We also are using fast LED clear. This function is used to turn all the LEDs off. The color change is not really that visible, so let's try something different. Now it looks nice. I strongly advise to look through all the information on GitHub describing the use of FastLED library. You will find all the essential function described, learn how to manipulate the colors, or even find predefined color codes ready to use. If you want to display more complex images or prepare animations like scrolling text, you can use some third-party software to automate code creation. One of the programs I found is LED Matrix Control Software. Here you can select the size of the matrix and using color palette draw the picture you want and when done generate the code. If need be you can rotate the output. 
The code that is generated can be then copy-pasted to your Arduino sketch. Here I also take demo sketch stripped to bare minimum and copy-paste the result I got from the application. We compile and send the sketch to Arduino and observe the result. The bitmap looks perfect but the coloring is a bit off. Not sure why, I will try to troubleshoot it in some other video. But you can identify the right color and easily fix it. I have plenty of ideas for future projects that will use those matrices. If you'd like to know what those projects would be, and you didn't yet have the chance to subscribe to my channel, here is a perfect opportunity. I hope to see you guys and girls in my next video, which is coming shortly.